reaction. Hello guys, and my name is Mo. It's your today. Say welcome to my channel. Welcome to my channel. What's the name of your channel, Bo? Bo. It's just Bo? <laughs> yeah. I thought it was, you said it was Bo and Brody. Bo and Brody. That's the channel name? Yeah. Cool. Say hi, Brody. Say hi. Oh, yep. He doesn't want his own channel. That's okay. Shake up a martini, pull up a chair, and let's go thrifting. This is Mid-Century Wasting. Is it a singing channel? Yeah, I'm just kidding. I'll just <laughs> sing a little song. Cool. So what are we gonna do today? So we're gonna get croissants and come and go to the ice dark sales and say and turn to daddy because I want him to say hi to you. Oh, fun. turn to daddy. You want daddy to say hi too? Daddy's driving. Yeah, I can't see. Yeah, if the sun is in our eyes. Oh my god, I look like a ghost. Okay, there we go. Hi, welcome to Mid-Century Wasted. I'm Jamie. Uh, hi. That's Blake. Hello. And then Bo and Brody, who you've already met. We're almost to the first one, so let's cut this off, okay? Okay, okay, we're doing it. All right.
picture? Yeah. yeah. Thanks, dude. Okay, hello everyone. Right now we are gonna start the haul because for some reason this day while we were out yard sailing, I only filmed at one location. And if I remember correctly, cause it has been a couple weeks now, but if I remember correctly, I think the pickings were just a little slim this day. And after the sale that I showed you in the shopping portion of this video, um, there was nothing else. <laughs> There's nothing else worthwhile to show you. So, and I think we just ended up going home. I did purchase things actually from two locations. There's two different stops here, but I only filmed at the second one, which is the one that you saw. The first stop, as you can see, that lampshade was there. And it was one of those things where Blake actually went up to the yard sale first and he saw that and he asked how much it was and he just ran back to the car to come get me. <laughs> So then I just sort of ran over there too and I didn't film it because it was just, we were hurrying. Because obviously this is a mid-century, modern, very vintage of the era, tiered fiberglass lampshade. I don't know why it took me so long to spit that out. But I didn't film at this yard sale, but here it is. And this is the coveted fiberglass lampshades that go with the lovely mid-century modern kitschy as heck style lamps that I happen to personally love and try to find whenever I can. Now from here this is looking not so bad <laughs> but when you turn it like this you can see we've got some wonkiness going on here. We've got some condition issues. It is misshapen. It's bent especially like right here it's pretty bent. And the twine, the string, has clearly come on undone. I have restrung one of these now myself. I learned how to do it. I know where to buy the cord. It's like a leather cord, like a flat leather cord that you use. And I'm gonna fix this, I'm gonna save this. This is a kind of typical Jamie mid-century wasted project where I rescued something to keep it from going to waste. Mid-century wasted. Here's some mid-century wasted goods right here. <laughs> and so I'm gonna save this. When I'm done with it, I have all the confidence in the world that it's gonna look amazing. And it's got this very kind of interesting speckled finish to it too, which I, I don't have reason to believe that it's not original, but I've never seen one like this. So if this was a DIY thing, I actually like it. I don't know, it makes it more kind of like cowhide, Southwest sort of style to it. I don't necessarily have a lamp for this right now, but I wasn't gonna leave it, so. Especially not in that condition, because you never know if somebody else was gonna come along and grab that and then decide it was too much work and then just toss it, which would have broken my heart. Oh, also, I'll tell you the price. It was $10, which those types of tiered shades, 
the mid-century shades in excellent condition or good condition even can fetch a hundred dollars easily 150 dollars sometimes around here just for the shade alone so ten dollars is insane even with the condition issues and the work that i'm gonna have to put into it it's it's fine <laughs> absolutely fine I'm gonna do perfectly well on that if I choose to sell it, which I'm not entirely sure that I will. I don't have a lamp for it right now, but it doesn't mean I won't acquire a lamp down the road that that shade is perfect for. So hashtag lampshade hoarder, call me whatever you want. And it's also funny because like I said, Blake was the first one up to that particular sale. She told him 10 and then when I walked up, I grabbed it and I, and I was walking around with it. She goes, oh, that's 20. I was like, what? You just told my husband 10. She goes, oh, I did? Oh, oh, okay, yeah, it's 10. <laughs> so it's like, I think she thought maybe Blake would have only spent 10 on it, but maybe I would have spent 20 on it. And honestly, I would have. If she had said $20, I probably would have hemmed and hawed a little bit and thrown a little hissy fit, but I mean, I still would have bought it. The other big ticket, we'll say, the other big ticket item that I got at that sale was actually this remnant piece of bark cloth fabric. Oh boy, do I love this. Oh man. I mean, you you can probably just assume, like, you know, you know I'm gonna love this. You just know I am. And this is actually a, she said it was a curtain panel sample. So this isn't really anything. It needs to be turned into something. God, I just love it so much. She wanted $15 for this, which to some might seem you know, crazy, because it's just a little piece of fabric. It's not even a full curtain. You could not even make it into a full curtain. But by God, you could upholster like a seat to a dining chair or a desk chair or make some pillows out of it or I, I don't even know what, but I wasn't gonna leave it, that's for sure. $15, I was a little, I don't know, a little taken back because I'm like, this is a yard sale. <laughs> like, who do you think, who do you think you're selling to people? But. Um, yeah, she was selling to me and I was willing to pay $15 for it. She ended up bundling everything. I got everything for $25. So if math is your thing, this was 15, the lampshade was 10, that's your $25 right there. So, um, she did say $1 for that and $1 for that, which I'll show you next. But then, you know, she said 25 for everything. So say I paid 10, 15, then I got those two things for free. If you want to look at it that way or you could say I paid 10 for that and 13 for that and a dollar each for those things however you want to average it out I spent $25 at the first place my kids are playing outside the window where I'm filming and I bet you could probably hear all that I don't get a quiet moment I need a soundproof filming studio that's all that's easy okay so these two things that I keep referring to here's one of them this is a gorgeous, gorgeous piece of amber glass. I don't know if it's Viking or Ellie Smith, but I would bet my bottom dollar it's one of those two. This is the same kind of color and glass that matches my swung glass vases. So I know it's it's the same it's the same company, but this is just like a real fancy little compote, little candy dish. Yeah, I just I thought this was beautiful. And lastly. From that sale anyway. Here's this precious little angel. Isn't isn't she darling? And this is in very good condition. I like the little stars on her dress. I can't really understand um, the pliers. <laughs> uh, maybe they're clippers because she's like, I don't know, there's a flower and then a basket of fruit or maybe that's the basket of flowers and she's clipping the flowers and putting them in the basket. I, I do not know, not sure. She's marked on the bottom here, eye rice. Made in Japan, is that how you say it? I, I rice. Irving W. Rice and Co. Incorporated New York City. I had to read the fine print down there to know exactly what that was. But anyway, made in Japan. It's got this little pouch here, which has a little sachet of very old, very disgusting, I don't know, potpourri probably. And then it is a, a little flower holder, air plant holder, whatever. But this is how I found it. This is how I'll sell it because there's the tag and the tag is attached to this little sachet thing of nasty. Eye rice gathers precious fragrant flowers from faraway lands to enhance your lingerie. So that's one of those little things you would toss in your lingerie drawer. They have it uh, 
on the figurine. So I don't know, maybe that's how it came and then you were supposed to take this and put it in your lingerie and then you use the little figurine as a flower holder. I don't know the intent, but here it is. It was either a dollar or free depending on how you want to divide the math. <laughs> so yeah, that was the first place. I mean, not bad. Definitely not bad when you think of value. Oh, which I didn't ever really get into, the curtains or the, the bark cloth. The value of a piece of bark cloth is great, is high. High value for vintage bark cloth. And it's taken me kind of a long time to know what bark cloth looks and feels like. So I'll get real kind of up close and personal. You can see the texture real good right now. It's like bark. It's soft-ish, but it's also kind of scratchy, kind of rough, and it's got just a lot of texture to it. And it's kind of like a stripey, you know, bark-like texture. So there you go, there's bark cloth for you. We were seeing bark cloth curtain panels in Palm Springs when we were shopping there. Granted, Palm Springs market, very high, high priced stuff, but you know, two curtain panels for like 600 bucks, yikes. Even a scrap or a remnant or a yard or however much you wanna call it of bark cloth can go for a good amount of money. I'll have to research exactly how much, but it was an easy, choice to spend $15 on that piece. So next is the yard sale that you watched me shop at. And I was digging around in some bins and buckets as you saw <laughs> in the first part of this video. This ended up actually being a very casual estate sale is what this was. It wasn't just like people living in the home and dragged out stuff that they didn't want anymore. This was, I believe somebody who passed away, unfortunately, and they were selling everything. I believe it was a company that was helping to sell everything. I'm not entirely sure, but I got all holiday things, all Christmas and a couple little Halloween things. There were so many handmade, hand-painted items at this. It was very kind of, I don't know, sad in a way because the homeowner was the one who made all of this stuff. And a lot of it was like the 80s, 90s, hand-painted wood things, you know what I mean? And that's just, as, as much as I wanted to rescue that stuff, it's just not my style. I wouldn't be excited about selling it. I don't know that it has a ton of value, at least not value compared to like stuff made in the 70s and earlier. That's the kind of stuff that I tend to go for. So, although I did get a little bit of some 80s-ish stuff sprinkled in here, I'm sure, but it's like the style that I'm looking for. So we'll start with this big giant cruel because, ugh, this is a, again another, I just didn't want it to be wasted. I didn't want it to be wasted. I didn't know if anybody was gonna rescue this. As you can see, there's yellowing and staining and all the stuff. There's one little spot here where the yarn has actually come apart. I'm sure that could be fixed. I'm hoping there's a way to clean this, okay? So if you know anything or have experience in cleaning, laundering, cruel, please let me know. I will probably start by just like vacuuming it. That seems to be maybe the first pass, but I don't, uh, this is gonna have to be treated with something and I don't, I don't know what. So, and it, you can see it, it even is stained like all the way up to the, the thread itself. So it's not like I could just, I don't know, like spot treat it here. It's like, if I feel like the whole thing needs to be washed, but I don't even know if that's possible. If not from a distance, it, it looks fine. <laughs> So it would be something I just keep because I wouldn't want to sell it in this condition. But look at like the, look at the ornaments. Just look at that pink and blue. Look at the shape of it. Look at the shape of these, these ornaments and things. This has such awesome mid-century modern vibes, even though this is probably done in like the seventies, I would imagine. But like the colors, ugh, it's, it's very, it's got very mid-century vibes to it. So I do love it. The best part about this, because it is stained and she knew it was stained, she gave that to me for $1. And this is not small. This is probably, I don't know, close to like 18 inches square here. It's not small. So that was an incredible deal. And she said she could have tried to 
take it out of the frame and wash it and restretch it and do all this. She was like, or I could just sell it for a dollar and let somebody else do that. And I was like, I'm your gal, <laughs> but I don't know how to do it. So if nobody watching this comments and tells me how to do it, I'm going to be doing some Googling and I've got between now and now and Christmas to make that look amazing. <laughs> Here's hoping. So all of this stuff over here, since I'm talking prices, all of this stuff over here was $10. She gave me all of this for $10. I know she gave that to me for a dollar because I had asked her specifically what the price is and she said a dollar. And then adding everything up, it's like she pretty much gave me everything for a dollar. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, so everything essentially was a dollar and I'm counting that little group of three there as one item. So here's the other embroidered deal here. Merry Christmas and it's got the little mice as you can see and this is 1987 is when this was made so like I said we are dipping into the 80s but you know this kind of stuff I love. Love 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 love. I just love this kind of stuff. I love the handmade like needlework stuff. And this doesn't say anything on the back, but you know, it has the little signature there in the needlework itself. Again, she probably gave that to me for a dollar. Here are a set of candles, little Christmas candles. Obviously I got these because I love the packaging. They were originally $1.65 a pack. There's white ones and red ones. These do have barcodes and they say made in Hong Kong. So I'm gonna say 80s. There's my guess for you there. Doesn't matter, love the package and they were a dollar. <laughs> All right, this is clearly like an 80s thing too. This, just the way that this is knitted makes me think 80s, but for a perfect kitty. And I got that for my cats. That's for my own cats. I will be keeping this. I have a little collection of stockings and I don't really have one specifically designated for a cat, so. There's my new cat stocking and it was a dollar. We're just calling everything a dollar. Here, this unfortunately got a little bit crunched in the box between when I bought it and now. So I'll have to kind of flatten that out a little bit, but a little hanging Noel sign. Is this cross stitch? I think this is cross stitch because I see the stitches are crossed. So here's a cross stitch and we've got Santa's on the letters and they're adorable. That little one's standing on his head. And this one, again, is signed Judy, 1984. I think Judy was the lady who did all of this stuff. Very talented lady. This one I love. This one might be one of my favorite ones because I feel like this has got a little more age to it. This isn't so much 80s. I feel like this might even go back to the 50s just because of the way the Santa is drawn. Maybe it says on the back. Maybe it's 60s. But look at this little banner. I adore this. Oh, so hard not to like hoard all of this stuff. So it says 60% linen, Lienin, Lienin, 40% Bromwall. Okay, don't know what that means. And it's got the little jingle bell at the bottom. I, yeah, I love it. I love it, I love it. That's adorable. Next, we have this box which I was so glad that I opened while I was there because we've got some tumbling reindeers and these were made in Japan. There's a sticker on the bottom and look at this guy. So he is on his head like that. Maybe I'll set them down so you can see them all. And then this one, these are just figurines too. These are not salt and pepper shakers which is what I thought at first but then I saw there was three and I'm like wait that doesn't make sense. So there's that guy, he's just kicking back. And the last one, there he is. And they're just hanging out. There they all are. There you go, they're adorable. So cute, little tumbling reindeers. Now we've got these things. <laughs> now this is definitely what I would say is like 80s, 90s look, almost like the Anna Lee dolls in a way. There was just a very specific crafting style of that era. There's a little patchwork train thing. And that is obviously what this is, but because it's got this sharp cone shape, I thought they had kind of mid-century vibes. It was just a little nod, we'll say. A nod 
to the spiky starbursty style and I don't hate these so I got them um, again I mean it's a dollar I thought somebody would like those and they are painted very well for what they are for the style that they're in which again there's nothing wrong with that style at all it's just not exactly my vibe these are more my vibe because of the shape of them, which I just, I just love the way that they're shaped. I don't know, but they're painted very, very, very well. So hopefully somebody will want those. I'll probably put those ones on Etsy. And I just, you know, I do appreciate the handmade stuff alike as such. So finding Halloween stuff is always difficult. It's way more difficult than finding Christmas stuff. So when I found this, I was like, oh yes, yes please. And it's got this cute little fabric around the edges. And this is cross stitch. It says happy Halloween. It's got little pumpkins, little scarecrows on the side. I liked this. I picked that up, you know, for a dollar, <laughs> like everything. And then this little guy was super surprising to find in there. It's a ghost. He's all orange, which is kind of funny because normally ghosts would be white, but you know, he's a Halloween candle. So they made him orange and he's got quite an adorable little face. And his wick is still there. And best part of all, he's a girly candle. Highly collectible candle company. And Halloween of anything is not easy to come by. So I was very excited to find that for a dollar. <laughs> like everything else. He is like a little dirty, I'll say. But you know, he's a candle. Maybe he can be cleaned up a little bit. He's made out of wax. Yeah, he's got like a dent on the back of his head, but who cares? He's great. He really is. And again, a dollar, because I spent $10 for all that, 25 for all that, so this was a $35 table. Not too shabby, especially given the quality of the stuff over here. So that's it. That was yard sale day. It was a little measly, but I managed to still spend $35, so. <laughs> and I don't think Blake got anything this day. If he did, I don't remember, and I didn't ask him. So you don't get to see what Blake got, but I really don't think he got anything. I can't remember him getting anything on this day. So that's it. Like always, if there's anything here that you are interested in purchasing, please send me an email at midcenturywasted at gmail.com. That's the best way to buy something from me. I'm gonna keep saying that because I've been forgetting for many months now to really pound that into the ground. This stuff is, almost all of it usually is for sale. I'm just super slow at listing on eBay and Etsy. That's, that's my problem. <laughs> because shopping is more fun, you know? <laughs> so yes, if you are interested in anything, send me an email. I'll give you a price that way. And I will always give you a better price than what I would be listing it for on eBay or Etsy because I won't have to pay the fees to eBay or Etsy. So I'm passing that little savings along to you because I would rather sell this way. It's much easier for both of us and just all around a good time. <laughs> like always, thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it so, so much. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and I will see you in the next video. Bye everyone. Please say hi to subscribers, please. No. Okay, you can talk to your inscribers now, right. Mommy. Okay, thanks, my inscribers. <laughs>